Hi, and welcome to a new episode of Product Release Notes, where we present the latest updates and improvements in Omega 365. Yes, and in today's episode, we're going to present updates for access management, cost and contracts, documents, completion, and some exciting updates for planning. Yes. Let's start with access requests. Uh, there is a collaboration workspace on the right side here. That is now available to use by those that have created access requests before you had to have special permissions to, to utilize it. But mm. now it's enough as long as you have created access requests. Yep. We've added a new capability. Uh, we presented last uh, episode the mm -hmm. new capability for sharing workflow to be able to share a workflow to someone that's not already having access yep. to the workflow. You need uh, this capability. The same thing now in incidents. So to share extending access to an incident, you need to have access to a role with this capability. In object, there is of course the or unit that the object belongs to. In some cases you have like a contractor that does not have access to the project itself where the object may be stored. And uh, they don't then have permissions to upload attachments, for example, mm. until now, because now we have uh, extended the permission. So as long as you have access within the domain, then you are allowed to upload attachments and you can remove your own attachments. Yep. But only your own. Yes. Shared folders, those that uh, can change the owner is now limited to the admin of the shared folder and the system administrator. That was before uh, also accessible for those with edit permissions, but that's now removed. Yep. In custom contracts, we've uh, added more possibilities when it comes to cost facing of the contract. The contract cost plan is a combination of the WSs tied to that contract uh, and the contract, of course. And uh, for those of you uh, that worked with PIMS 365, we will uh, recognize these features now so that you can time phase and uh, both based on the profile and based on the WS. So uh, these features are now also available in Omega 365. Oh, great. Uh, we've had some cases where the users by mistake has uh, opt, uh, set the baseline to the wrong baseline, for example, and we've had to assist with cleaning up afterwards. But uh, we have now implemented a warning if you try to set the baseline um, where the active from date is later than the current cutoff, you will get a warning, for example. Mm. So to prevent uh, accidental uh, baseline uh, updates, you you get these warnings. I think that will uh, reduce the uh, number of uh, mistakes done. Of course, it's always possible to get hold of the data that was available before, but yeah. uh, it's a little bit more extra work. In documents, we introduced last uh, week the possibility to have a name prefix on the org unit. That's very practical to use for as a project ID, for example. Mm. You might then have a pre prefix for the project that is uh, appearing on each of the contracts. And this prefix can be used now also as part of the document numbering. Oh. That could be practical. In uh, completion, we uh, introduced last time also, last episode, uh, the possibility to use uh, loop numbers and tie them together. Mm -hmm. uh, this is using the properties concept, uh, which is a very flexible way. You can have different properties. Uh, and this is something that you can configure yourself. There are some uh, limitations when, there when you have uh, properties. So before this update, you could not do batch update or bulk update. But this has now been implemented also on these properties fields. Oh. And when it comes to activities and uh, signing, we have now implemented the possibility to remove the signature. So if this the, the checklist was signed, uh, you can remove it now, as long as you have sufficient permissions. OK, over to planning, where we have some um, Good updates. If I now navigate to this construction schedule, the first thing that meets me is this overview with the settings. I have the list of the activities and I have scenarios. And that's mm. interesting. Uh, we now support that you can uh, work with different scenarios of the schedule. Like in this case, I have a construction schedule, the base plan, and then I have uh, 
de som uh, har preparerat scenario if there is a hurricane there will be some delays so uh, that's possible to work with independently we'll come mm. back to that in a few moments the ac who has access to it uh, the schedule and the calendars available for the schedule the contract milestones so what happens now is when i click on gantt view we take the activities into a separate workspace this workspace is uh, uh, available for others as well so you can still work uh, many on the same schedule at mm. the same time uh, but it's in a separate area so it doesn't impact uh, uh, the the activities that is used in complete and in general in omega 365 activities is a very central register mm. but now you work in a separate environment so for example if i now try to move this activity you will see that this appears that's the start and finish dates for the activity uh, in complete. Mm. So this is what I'm working now and I can see also one committed user change. So I did this change. Uh, there are several changes because of this change because there is uh, uh, there are relations between the activities. So if I go in here I can choose include changes made by the scheduling engine mm. and I have all these changes. And now I can choose to commit these changes and then the activities register will be updated or I can discard. Yeah. And back to the scenarios. So when I was here, uh, you saw that we had the scenarios. So now we have uh, the possibility to generate a new workspace, which is basically then the scenario. Mm. So um, it will be based on the base schedule. I can change what is the base schedule. Um, but let's uh, go into this uh, scenario. I will get up the same planning functionality. And it will also be clearly marked what is the activities pl uh, plan start and finish date so here basically this is the change if there is a hurricane this will be the effect of that and if the hurricane seems to come i yep. can now commit the changes and that will then become the official schedule for the uh, for the project oh. and uh, we can set this as the base schedule mm -hmm. so I think this is a uh, very good, very good improvement to our scheduling capabilities and functionality. So uh, I think uh, this uh, update will be very well appreciated by our clients. Absolutely. Thank you for showing us the updates this week. Uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.